And here we are, October 2022, and we are installing our first fiber. The fiber that State Technology Department Director Leanna Bailey Crimmins spoke about was being threaded into the ground at the foot of Iron Mountain in Poway. A lot of the work of burying the fiber cables and running it throughout California falls to Caltrans. We're holding a strand of the broadband fiber that went into the ground just now. We just placed 500 feet, the first 500 feet of a, a 10,000 mile broadband middle mile network and today we just made history here. Those thousands of miles of connectivity will arrive in rural and urban areas of California where officials say one out of five people do not have broadband access. That means they are not able to access resources that involve health care and education. California Transportation Secretary Taksomi Shakin has a list of things that begin with E that people are forced to find on the Internet. But there are some E's that uh, we like to talk about all the time that are, make this uh, sort of drive this home to what it's going to do for people from an economic standpoint, from an equity standpoint, from an employment standpoint, from even emergency and even health care. Uh, standpoint, this is going to mean access. The fiber optic cables will lie just 18 inches below the ground. The cable is being called the middle mile of the internet broadband system. The last mile is the connection from the cable to homes and businesses. So what we are building here today is a middle mile network, which is a backbone to an, an order for last mile providers such as AT&T and others to connect and provide that connectivity that's so vital for individuals. Teresa Valenzuela is with the San Diego Futures Foundation, which provides computers to low income people. She says closing the digital divide also requires connectivity, which many San Diegans lack. There's so many senior citizens, disabled uh, students, uh, mothers, uh, refugees. Uh, why do they not have it? Uh, most of the time it's because they can't afford it. Bailey Crimmin said in order for Internet providers to be part of the state broadband network, they must provide affordable Internet services. The total cost of the network is $3.8 billion. A lot of the money comes from the federal American Rescue Plan Act, aimed at bolstering the economy during the pandemic. As a mandate to federal funding, the network must be completed by 2026. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.